Hopefully by now you already know that Loop Cloud is incredible for searching, filtering, and finding the right sounds for your projects. Obviously, our team and the Loop Cloud AI do a great job at tagging all of the over 4 million sounds we have. The really great news here is if you import your own sounds, which you absolutely can do, Loop Cloud will do its best to tag them for you so you can use all of the filtering, searching, audio filters, and AI searches with your own sounds and the sounds from Loop Cloud. There are a number of ways to get your samples into Loop Cloud so we can analyze them, tag them, and then you can use all of Loop Cloud's powerful searching and filtering tools with your own samples. If you go to File, you can add samples this way. If you're on your library, there's an Add Samples button over here. But the easiest way might be just to simply drag and drop into Loop Cloud. As soon as I do that, add folders to user content. It's gonna say confirm or not. I'm gonna hit OK. And you can see down here that it's going to add those files. And it's actually tagged them very quickly. Now, any files that you've added have a different folder icon. You can see the little person there and a yellow one. And also anything new will have a new tag. If I come in here, you can see that not only are the waveforms here with my file names, but they've been automatically tagged with BPM, the key, instrument type, and so on. Loop Cloud will do its absolute best to automatically tag things, but you can, of course, add your own tags using the Properties panel over here. I've done a full video on that, so check that video for more information. Now, if you are going to be dragging and dropping or importing using any of the import menu items, it's important to realize that those samples should be where you're going to keep them permanently. If you move your samples from the location while Loop Cloud is closed, it won't be able to find those samples anymore. So the connection or the pathway between Loop Cloud and the samples must remain the same. Of course, if you do want to move things, simply move them and then re-add them using the same methods. So it's great. A lot of the work will be done for you, but of course you can get in and customize any of the tags you want. Check out my tagging video for more information on that. Let Loop Cloud be your one place for storing and finding loops and sounds for your projects.